Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a quick little shotty get ready with me. I'm gonna be trying out some new makeup. Not everything is brand new, but most of this is new to me. I recently got some new stuff in the mail and I thought I would try it out on camera because I know it's been a hot minute since I sat down with you guys, did my makeup and did like an actual beauty video because my life is in shambles these days. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. I have been so, so incredibly anxious and it's weird because usually the thing that keeps my anxiety at bay is filming videos. It's just my time to just sit down, relax, and I'm always like at peace and excited when I film and I haven't had a chance to really film that many videos. So I have been so incredibly anxious. The holidays are just so insane every year. I it's too much. But today I said, you know what? I'm gonna pause everything I'm doing. I'm gonna put my phone down. I'll respond to text messages later and I'm just gonna do my makeup and chat with you guys like the good old days. Let's do it. So I got a couple things here to test out, but first I'm gonna go in with the new Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Balm Lip Treatment. And this really caught my attention because it says it has lip filler technology. That sounds real interesting. This advanced anti-aging liquid lip treatment nourishes, soothes, and hydrates for exceptionally soft, fuller lips. I actually um, applied some of this on my lips earlier today just to see if it would hurt or not, and it actually feels really nice. I didn't notice any stinging at all, really. I mean, it says it has lip filler technology, so I thought it was gonna be like very stingy and lip plumping-y, but honestly, it just feels like a super nice, thick, hydrating lip balm. I really like how this feels on my lips. It doesn't feel like aquaphory or like Vaseline-y. It feels like a barrier. Like if it's sitting on top of the skin, but in a good way. I don't know how to explain it, Never mind. I'm gonna leave this on my lips for the remainder of the video. Let's see if it starts to tingle as it sits on my lips, because I only had it on for like five minutes earlier. But now I'm gonna go in with this bad boy. Let me tell you something about this. I've used this twice. This is from Smashbox. It's the Mindful 5 Nourishing Face primer serum and I bought this because I am obsessed with the Smashbox primer what is the official name of that it's literally my favorite primer of all time how do I not know this I think it's just called primer <laughs> primerizer duh wow Kathleen you are losing it the primerizer is my favorite primer of all time so when I saw this on the Sephora website I was like that looks right up my alley. I need to buy that. It has a bunch of amazing things in it. It has cannabis sativa hemp seed oil, primer oil complex. What does that even mean? I don't know. And it's in this really cool green color. So I was like, huh, yeah, I'm going to try that. And guys, this lip balm has a funny taste. It's like getting in the back of my throat like, I don't know how to explain it. But <clears throat> anyway, this primer <laughs> smells like tequila. This, this is tequila. I am convinced this is alcohol. And not like rubbing alcohol, no, like liqueur. It smells like a drink. The first time I used this and I started to spread this onto my face, I was taken back. You know what this smells like? This is a green apple shot. At first I thought this smells like green tea, but no, I smell like apple. Wait, do I smell green tea? It's a green something shot. And I was telling you guys on Instagram, if one day you drink all night and the next morning you wake up to go do your makeup and like you have a hangover, don't use this primer. Oh my God, it's gonna send you to the bathroom. You're gonna start vomiting immediately. But besides the scent, I've only used it a couple times, but it does feel really nice on the skin. It kind of has a tacky finish, which I do really like. And I feel like it is hydrating and moisturizing. And I noticed that my foundation went on pretty smoothly. Like I don't have any problems with this yet. Of course I have to test it out with different foundations, but I like it so far. Now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and apply all my face products first because the eyes are very simple. There's like only two things I wanna test out on the eyes. I don't have a full eyeshadow palette to use. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer Foundation and I'm gonna use it on this new ColourPop brush. They recently sent me a package that had these two brushes, this gold liquid highlight, and then this gold like powder highlight, which is supposed to resemble the Marc Jacobs vibe. And it smells freaking amazing. But when I swatched this, I'm not super crazy about it. I have to test it out on my face, but swatching it, I'm not crazy about this, but I am crazy about the scent. But anyway, I'm gonna use the foundation with this brush. I just wanna test out this flat top kabuki. It's the F23, and I'm not gonna lie, I usually don't like flat top kabukis like this. You guys know I prefer something that's a little bit more rounded at the top, like this, versus something like this that's like Bleh. But we'll try it. Okay, I don't know if I'm crazy, but this foundation brush soaks up a lot of foundation. 
like a lot of it. I feel like it immediately just like sinks into the brush. You'd probably get more coverage if you pump the foundation onto your face and then start blending it out with this brush because applying it directly on top, I feel like it's just making it sink right in for some reason, I don't know why. I mean, obviously it's working, it's applying the foundation, I'm getting coverage, but I feel like I've already used more than I normally would by now, you know? Okay, so I have blended that into my skin. Everything looks really good. I mean, the coverage is there, it's fine, but I don't like this brush. Like, I just know right off the bat, it like soaks up too much product. Also, side note, um, my throat is starting to hurt. I know that sounds dramatic, but does this have orange extract in here? Not that I'm allergic to it or that that makes my throat hurt or anything, but I'm tasting Damn, I'm good. I mean, if you can taste, you would taste it too. So I mean, anybody with that sense would be good. But there is tangerine peel oil in here and I taste it. I swear, I have like this like tangy orange situation like at the back of my throat and I can't explain it. And I love orange, like I like the taste, but I don't like it sitting here in the back of my throat. I mean, it feels really, really nice on the lips, but it's traveling to my throat. But let's see, maybe I'm just being dramatic. Okay, for concealer, I'm not using anything new. I'm just gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape, but Tarte came out with this new Shape Tape Glow Wand, and I am very intrigued by this, so I wanna test it out. And I honestly don't know much about this. I got it in a PR package, but there wasn't any information with it. It just said Shape Tape Glow Wand, and I tried to look up information on it because this isn't even on the website. I don't know if this is about to launch or what, but I know it was recently on QVC, which is so bizarre. It was on QVC first, I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen to it, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be launching soon But it just says it's a brightening duo that delivers glow and full coverage for a radiant finish So it is a concealer. It doesn't say it's a concealer. It just says it's a glow wand So I'm gonna test it out on top of the Shape Tape concealer to see if it's like Well, let's see what it is <laughs> It also came with this really cool double-sided brush So I'm gonna be using that to blend it out. So first I'm gonna take a little bit of my light neutral concealer and I'm just gonna barely I'm gonna add a little bit of that oh my gosh I forgot how matte this concealer was okay so now I'm gonna take the shape tape glow wand in the shade a light yes like a light and I'm gonna apply that on top I think Oh my god, that's pearly. Oh my gosh, that has like a pearly radiant finish. Let's see, I'm gonna use the other side. Okay, I like the glow it gave my under eyes because I have very dry skin, so I like that, but am I crazy or did it take away some of the coverage that the concealer put down? Is this not meant to be layered on top of concealer? Okay, so I had to take a short break. I got a lot of packages at the door. I have so much Christmas wrapping to do. I have over 20 kids in my family. The guy delivering my packages was like, you have a problem. <laughs> so I had to do that really quick, and now we're back. So I'm actually gonna try the glow wand on this side without any concealer underneath, just to see if maybe that looks better, because I don't know. I mean, you know what? It has completely set down, and it still remained nice and glowy. Like, it has a pearly finish, but I feel like it didn't layer on top of the concealer that nicely, so let's see. Um, okay, I like the idea of this because I do like that my under eyes look nice and hydrated and dewy But there really isn't much coverage. I know it says that there's coverage I mean there's coverage, but it's not a coverage. I'm comfortable with completely on its own I feel like it needs something underneath, but then I feel like it doesn't layer on top of concealer that well But then you know, it doesn't look bad. I, I hate first impressions. Let's see. Let's add a little bit of concealer. Ooh. Let me try to mix them. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this, then add a little bit of this, see how they go together. You know what, this comes with a little freaking sponge on the other side. Let me try that. No. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more on this side. Ok, 
Okay, so that is what the glow wand product looks like underneath my eyes. I don't know how I feel about it just yet. A part of me freaking loves it. And then a part of me is like, your under eyes look weird. And I don't know which part of me I agree with more. <laughs> what do you guys think? You tell me how I'm supposed to feel. Write it down below. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of this glow wand like in the center of my face, just to highlight. I think I kind of like it. I think that looks nice on the nose, right? I don't know. <laughs> my nose looks dewy now. Okay, enough hoopla. Is that the right term? I'm gonna see how powder looks on top of this product. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder and I'm gonna use this ColourPop F24 brush. I think it was part of their like holiday collection. Now I'm gonna use this to set the under eyes. Actually, that looks really pretty once you set it. I mean, it takes away the whole purpose of this product, which is to leave your under eyes like with that beautiful glow. But if there's ever a day where you want to set it, it sets really beautifully. I feel like we're not doing much chatting in this video. How have you guys been? What's on your Christmas list? Let's start conversations in the comments. <laughs> I'm going to move on to my face. I'm going to go in with some bronzer. And oh, I nearly freaked out when I saw these mother effing cherries on this packaging. Have you guys seen the new Becky G ColourPop collab? It's all about the 90s. It's so fun and it's so nostalgic. It just reminds me of my childhood. Like the way that this looks spray painted, like the shirts we used to get at the fair when we were younger. What? So she came out with two powder bronzers in the collection, LA and 310. And I'm gonna be trying out one of these for you guys today. I think 310 is a little bit more up my alley. It's a little bit warmer than I would go for, but um, LA is a little bit too deep for me. So I'm gonna test this out. And I wanna use a big fluffy brush. This is also from ColourPop, it's the F18. I love this brush. I always mess up my hair when I put on bronzer or blush. I'm just like <laughs> all over my hairline. It's so crazy how when you're younger, you're just waiting for Christmas to come by. And don't get me wrong, I freaking love Christmas. I love seeing all the kids open gifts. It's truly like my favorite time of the year. But as I get older, it gets here faster. Like it was just Christmas. And I swear I didn't feel that way when I was younger. Christmas was like light years away from each other. So I don't know what's happening. Is time moving faster? I don't know. I have a whole conspiracy theory with that. So this color is actually really, really nice. I thought it was gonna be a little too warm for me, but I really like it. It's like a nice tan color for me. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of LA. Let's see. I'm gonna use this to slightly contour. I think this undertone is a little bit too pink for me, but I'm gonna see. Why not? Let's try it. For blush, I don't have anything new to test out. I do have something that's from a Korean beauty brand, but I'm waiting to get everything else in the mail. I have a package that's lost in the mail right now. I bought a bunch of Korean beauty to test out for you guys, and I'm waiting until everything comes in to do that video, and I'm still waiting. So for right now, I'm gonna take my Buxom Dolly blush. I love this blush, you guys know. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this on with my 107 brush from e.l.f. I forgot how much I love this brush to apply blush. I freaking love it. It's just so easy. It's like Oh no, I completely forgot to try the liquid highlight before I put all these powders on my face. Oh, let's try it now anyway. Why not? This is the ColourPop Liquid Highlighter in the shade Champagne Bubbles. And it comes in this type of packaging. It has a little dropper, really cute. And I've actually never even swatched this before. Ah, too much, too much. Hmm, okay, that looks really pretty. It's very, very sheer, but it's pretty. Let's see. Oh my gosh, and it also smells really good. By the way, right off the bat, I will say this dries really, really fast. You have to work really quickly. You would probably really enjoy this if you have oily skin because it is such a fast drying product, but for me, it's almost it's almost drying too fast. Of course, I have to test it out again on top of no powder. 
but just based off first impressions it's really pretty it just dries so quickly so you can't really take your time blending it out you have to work immediately and I don't necessarily love that because I feel like you can get some patchiness with that kind of formula it has an intense sheen to it like there's shimmer which is why it looks so pretty in the light but when you look up close it's not that reflective i know it looks like it is but i don't know i don't know how i feel i definitely think it dries too quickly for me it smells like a collection this smells like something there is a collection out there there is a makeup collection oh, what? hold on oh my god i know what it is i know what it is Aha! it's this i knew it i knew i had smelled it before it smells identical to this Oh my god, it's the same scent. This smells exactly like the Too Faced Peach Collection. So does this have like a peach extract in it? Mm, yeah, I, I think I, yeah. Mm -hmm. I smell the peaches. Anyway, not that you cared about that at all. I am going to apply some more highlight on top of the one I already have. This is also from ColourPop. It's part of the same line. And it is their Pressed Illuminator in Champagne Bubbles. So it's the same shade, only it's a pressed version. And like I told you guys earlier, when I went to swatch this, let me show you. Oh my gosh, ColourPop, I, I still love you to death. <laughs> I feel like I'm being very negative towards Colourpop in this video. But when I first went to swatch it, like, you have to really, really, really pack it on like this. Really press it into the skin to see that sheen and to see that, like, metallic flip. But when you just lightly blend it into the skin, it just kind of feels chunky. Well, you know what? Let me stop judging it and try it on my face. Okay, I'm going to take my Real Techniques setting brush and pop that on top. It probably looks nicer on the face than it does swatched on the hand, you know? Okay, this is nicer than I thought it was gonna be, 100%. It's definitely not my favorite kind of highlight. It's not something that I would run out and get only because I don't like highlights that look this metallic and this intense. Like, this is an intense mofo. And when you look up close, I mean, again, that could be because I have these two layered, so maybe this works better on its own, but it looks a little bit too intense on my face. Like, it looks kind of fake and it looks a little tick. Like a low tick. Let me zoom you in. Ugh, I don't think it's something that will pick up on camera, honestly. You have to see it in person. It just kind of looks like it's sitting on my skin. But well, you guys know I'm real picky when it comes to my skin texture. But I think you would really, really, really enjoy this highlight if A, you love a metallic highlight, something really intense, and B, you have young, beautiful, oily skin then I think you would really like it. <laughs> I just think for my dry skin, I don't know, it, it doesn't look the best. You know, I have a few other highlights in my collection that I like more than this that give me a more pearly, like dewy finish and that look a little bit thinner and just feel nicer. And they're also affordable too. So I don't know, I'm definitely on the fence with this. I'm not crazy about it. Okay, for the eyes, I'm going to keep it so, so simple. I actually really wanted to test out one of these house laboratories. Ignore that. I accidentally got glow wand on it and it was a big mess and then I had to clean it. And it's giving me anxiety just looking at it. But I got this house laboratories package in the mail and I think it's part of her new holiday collection. But you have four liquid eyeshadows, a lipstick, and then two eyeliners, like liquid liners. And I really wanted to test out one of these all over shimmer shades. I'm gonna test out, oh my God, retro. These letters are so tiny. Actually, you know what? Now that I see that my highlight is super, super golden. I'm going to mix Retro and Chains, which is like the really intense gold one. I think this might be a little bit too taupey silver, but then this is a little bit too copper gold. So I'm gonna mix these two together. That's the beauty with these like wet, moussey type of eyeshadows. You can mix and match and create custom shades. So I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. I'm gonna do a quick wash of color, and then I'm gonna go in with the new house. <laughs> Demi Matte Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Whiskey. I've tried their original black before. I think I tried it with you guys on camera, but I'm gonna test out this dark, dark brown whiskey shade. And yeah, I will give you an update. You already know I cannot talk and do eyeliner at the same time. I can't even be silent and do eyeliner at the same time, so. So these liquid shadows dry super quickly, not too quickly, not like the liquid highlight on my face, 
it's not something where once you put it down you can't move it around and you can't manipulate it anymore it is movable and it's definitely blendable like I feel like I've already had it on my lids for a while like not a long time but I've had it on there for a while and I'm still able to blend out the crease so that's a super good sign I really really like these I have tested these out in the past and they're really nice but this combo of these two shades together I really really like it and it's such a nice like one and done shadow just throw it all over the lid and boom you're done. I love looks like that. I'm gonna take a little bit of my ColourPop palette. Well, these are all shades made by ColourPop and I just like curated the palette together, you know. But I'm gonna take the shade Sidetracked and I'm gonna use that on my lower lash line really quick. And then I'm gonna use the shade Ringer on my inner corners before I start on the eyeliner. Oh my god, why was that so difficult for me? They are completely uneven. Ignore that. <laughs> this one's like down here. I don't know why that was so hard for me to do. Sure, I had coffee today, but that was hours ago. I feel like this formula is just a little bit too drying for me. Like it doesn't glide across the lid. You get a lot of skipping and a lot of stopping. And I don't know if it's because I have like a lot, a lot of skin on my eyes. That sounds disgusting, but it was just like constantly stopping. And I felt like I had to go back into this and like go like this to really get the ink back out because it was just drying so quickly. So I feel like I struggled big time with this eyeliner. I mean, I'm not very good at eyeliner, but I struggled a little bit, which sucks because I love this color so much. I actually prefer these dark browns versus the harsh blacks. All right, so now I'm gonna pack on the mascara so we can finish up this look. Okay, so I feel like a lot of my blush got blended away with all of that highlight I put on my face. So I'm gonna take a little bit more blush. Pop that on the cheek. Okay, so to finish up this look, I'm going in with my lip color. First, I'm gonna set my face. And now I'm gonna go in with my lip color. I'm gonna take the Traviesa Lip Bundle from ColourPop and Becky G. And this is a very intense, deep plum. She has three colors in the collection, a nude, a red, and a plum like this. I wanted to put on the nude, but I was like, you know what, Kathleen? You do too many nudes. It's time to step out of your comfort zone. Even though I love bold lip colors, I've just been wearing so many nudes. What's wrong with me? I used to be such a vibrant lip gal. Especially for the holidays, I love a deep lip. So I'm going to pop that on right now and by the way that tingliness at the back of my throat went away after a while and it honestly made my lips feel really nice because they were super super chapped right before I put them on they're still kind of chapped but a lot better than they were so that's nice I love this color. Oh, like I'm obsessed, wow. I feel like a whole new woman. It's the perfect amount of depth. It's like super, super, super deep, or it's like almost black, but it's not. Oh my gosh, such a beautiful purple. It looks cool with my nails. Oh, I love this color so much. 
and I really really like it with this eye look. Wow, we are ending this video on a positive note. I feel like we had some not so positive moments in this video, but we're ending it on a positive note because I love this lip. But actually I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna test it out right here on my chest because I'm wearing long sleeves right now. This is the Fenty Beauty Fairy Balm Shimmer Powder, and it's in the shade Trophy Wife. I picked this up because it's in the shade Trophy Wife, and anything that Rihanna makes in this shade, I love and I'm obsessed with. So, look at this, how adorable. I love it. How would I use this, actually? Does this come with like a thing? It does come with a thing. Oh no, it just comes with a stopper in the top. Last time I threw mine away by mistake, do you remember? When I did that with the Fenty powder, I accidentally threw away the stopper. Oh, but it already has one. I guess that's a backup. I'm gonna put some on the cat. Oh, whoa. Whoa. It's everywhere now. All right, I um, don't know how I would apply this. Um, I'm just gonna take this big Fenty brush. So good. That smells like buttercream. Oh my gosh. Delicious. Can you guys see that? I'm very, very pale at the moment. I look like Gatsbert the Friendly Goats. But it's such a pretty shimmer. This would probably be better to apply on top of like moisturized skin so it actually has something to stick to. Because right now, I'm just like throwing it all over my chest. It's kind of like falling everywhere, you know, it's not really sticking to my skin. I like it. I know you can't really tell on camera, but in person I like it. Anyway guys, that completes this video. This was almost a full face of new makeup. I really enjoyed sitting here with you guys and talking about some of this new stuff. I will say I love the end result, like I love how my makeup looks right now, but there were a couple things that I, I wasn't crazy about. This being one of them, this being another one of them. I actually do really like this brush, it's good. And maybe even potentially this being another one. Which is a bummer because I feel like I'm rarely, rarely disappointed with ColourPop stuff, but this just, it's not for me, it's not for my skin type, you know? I love this lip color, I really, really love this House Laboratories liquid eyeshadow, especially the combo. I'm not into the eyeliner, it's just not for me. I need something that's a little bit more like beginner friendly. Sure, I'm not a beginner, but I need something that's a little bit easier to use. And this, I don't know how I feel about this either. This is good, even though the scent throws me out. I'm just, I'm all over the place in this video. I don't know how I feel. But anyway guys, that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave me a comment down below letting me know what videos you wanna see from me next, any requests, what, what do you wanna see? Let me know in the comments below. But anyway guys, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.